Hi, and welcome to Art with Mrs. Torres. Today, we're going to be learning how to draw a Valentine bear. Now, for the supplies you're going to need today, pretty simple things. You probably already have them in your bedroom or in your house. You're going to need some paper, some markers, and crayons if you have both, a pencil, and of course, our handy dandy Sharpie marker for drawing. So gather up those items and meet me back here and I'm gonna teach you how to draw a bear for Valentine's Day. Let's get ready to make our Valentine bear. For today's lesson, you are going to need one piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, something to color with. Now I'm gonna be using Crayola markers as well as some crayons and a Sharpie marker. Now, if you don't have either the crayons or the markers, whatever you have on hand to color with is fine. You could use colored pencils or any other kind type of art supplies. All right, so let's get ready to draw our picture of our Valentine Fair. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the center of my paper. So I'm gonna put my finger in the middle and I'm gonna be drawing a dot with my pencil very lightly right in the center. Now that dot is going to help me with my placement of my bear so that he's right in the middle of the paper. So the first thing we're gonna do around that dot is draw a large circle for his tummy. Now the circle is going to go right here in the middle of the paper and then above that we'll draw the head next. So make sure when you're making that circle that it's big enough to fill up most of the middle of the paper, but not so big that it takes up all of the paper. That would be a pretty chubby bear. When I'm finished with that circle, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this dot because I don't need it anymore. My next circle is going to be at the top. This is going to be his head. Now you'll notice his head is kind of on top of his body. That's called overlapping. So I'm gonna be drawing one circle overlapping the other circle. Overlapping just means it's going over. And this circle is going to be about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller. Once I have drawn that second circle, I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to erase this line. Now you might be thinking, but your circle isn't like my circle, or maybe your circle isn't a perfect circle. It doesn't matter. Most of the edges of the circle are gonna get changed later anyway. So don't worry, just whatever you have is gonna be great. I erased the line right here out of the middle of his face or her face. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do a girl bear or a boy bear. Now the next part of our bear is going to be down here. This is gonna be where his feet are. So I put some fun red tennis shoes for Valentine's Day on my bear. And you'll notice that the tennis shoe shape is just kind of like a rainbow, which basically is half of a circle. So I'm going to first find the middle of my bear right here. And I'm gonna draw a really light line right from the head all the way down the middle of his body. Now please draw this really light because we're gonna be erasing it later. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We're going to use it to help us draw the heart. And then we're gonna also use it to help us draw the feet. So as long as it's light and you can erase it later. Now I'm gonna continue this line all the way down and I'm gonna stop after about four or three fingers, depending upon how big your fingers are. So this is going to be his shoes. So if you want his shoes really big, you could do four fingers. If you want his shoes kind of semi big, you can do three fingers. So you can see I'm laying my fingers right here at the bottom of his body to figure out how long I want this line. And once I figure out how big I want his shoes to be, I'm gonna go like this and draw a line from side to side. And this is gonna be about as long as his body. So it's gonna stop when it lines up with the edge of his body. Now for the first shoe, I'm just gonna come right here and I'm gonna draw a curvy line like a rainbow that goes up and around and back down. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, up and around and back down. Now it always happens that when I do this, one of my rainbows is gonna be a little higher than the other one. So all you have to do is just fix the one that's maybe different size than the other one. 
You can go in with your eraser and erase. And then once you're done with your shoe part, then we're going to connect the body with the shoe. So I'm gonna make his tummy a little bit chubbier and then I'm gonna bring it down to his shoes like this. I'm gonna bring this part of his body around and connect to his shoes. So he just got a little bit rounder. Now I'm gonna erase this line right here because we don't need that bottom of the circle anymore. I'm gonna keep that line running down the middle for just a little while. We'll fix it later and erase it. Now it's time to draw his hands. His hands are gonna be holding a heart like this. So we're gonna draw his hands. So I like to draw the hands first, then I'm gonna draw the heart later. So the hands are gonna go right over here on the side, kind of near his shoulders. So the hands are just gonna be another big circle. Now make sure you make them kind of big because his hands are in front of his body holding this heart and they need to be big enough to hold this big giant heart that he's gonna be holding up, this little Valentine. So I made two circles for the hands. Now I'm going to erase the lines inside those circles. I am using my magic rub, but you can also use the end of your pencil. And I'm keeping my hand flat on the table, the hand that is not holding the eraser. This is my duck's mouth, quack, quack, quack. And I'm using my eraser inside the duck's mouth only for erasing. That way my paper doesn't wrinkle. If you followed any of my other lessons, you know I'm always talking about erasing in the duck's mouth, not outside of the duck's mouth. All right, so now that we have that line running down the middle, that's actually gonna help us draw a big giant Valentine heart. So we're gonna come down, right down the line right here. We're gonna go below his paws and we're gonna to start to draw a curve that comes up and around on this side. And then I'm gonna match it on this side. So it's gonna be just like those rainbows we did for the shoes. This is gonna be at the top of the heart, up and around. Make sure it comes a little bit down. Now, if it was going through his paws, which we can go ahead and draw really lightly through his paws, it would come around. Now this is actually behind his paw and down and it would form all the way down here to the bottom. It would start tipping down. So at the bottom, it's gonna kind of look like the letter V. Now this one's gonna go up and around through his paw. We're gonna erase it later and then back down. Now the most important part is to make sure this looks like the letter V. So if yours doesn't make kind of an angled line like a V here, just make it a little bit longer. You can just bring it down a little bit longer like this to make it look more like the bottom of a heart, which kind of comes to a letter V. Now that really helped me draw a heart a little bit better. Did it help you too? Now we're gonna come up here into his paws and we're gonna erase this section right inside here. So I'm just gonna take my eraser and erase the heart out of his paw because it's gonna be behind his hand or his paw. And so we can't see that part of the heart. All right, so now it really looks like he's holding a heart. Now we don't need this line that runs down the middle anymore so we can get rid of that. So now we've got Hands, heart, shoes, body, head. Now we're gonna do some detail. So let's go up to the top of his head. We'll add fingers and all the details now. So let's go up to the top of his head. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can start to work on the top of his head. So let's put his ears and his ears are gonna be right here. They're gonna be kind of like a small rainbow shape. So I'm gonna come right over here away from the center of his head and I'm going to make a nice round rainbow and then we do the same thing on the other side so you kind of want to look where the the top of his head is and make it about the same distance away so I'm looking right here if that was the top of his head that's about for me almost one and a half fingers now you don't have to do this to measure but sometimes it's helpful to kind of measure with your fingers before you draw the other ear. And once I draw my ears, 
Now I'm gonna move on and start working on his face. So I'm gonna start right here at the center of this circle of his face, and I'm going to draw a wide or fat rainbow. This one's gonna be much more wide. This is gonna be his muzzle where his nose is. And then I'm gonna come down a little bit down from there and make sure it's right in the middle. So you might wanna make a little dot to make sure it's the middle of your paper. And this is where we're going to place his nose. Now his nose is going to be a round, kind of like a jelly bean shape or an oval laying on its side. And I'm gonna erase the dot out of his nose. We don't need that anymore. I'm gonna erase the dot off the top of his head. Okay, now let's draw his mouth. So I'm gonna draw a straight line down, just short, not very long. And I'm gonna curve his little smile around. It's gonna be a little shorter than the end of the muzzle. I'm gonna make a smile on the side, curve it around. I'm gonna give him a little cheek on the side. And now I'm gonna draw his eyes. So I'm gonna start, so this is the center right here. I'm gonna start over here, kind of like where the edge of his nose is. If I draw a line up, don't draw a line, but if you kind of jumped up right here, I'm gonna go right to the edge of his nose here. And I'm gonna make a little dot right here to the edge of his nose on this side. And this is gonna start his eyes. I'm gonna make a wide chubby rainbow and a wide chubby rainbow. And then I'm gonna add a little chubby cheek right here off to the side on the corner of his eye. I'm gonna bring the muzzle down in front of that cheek. Now the next part of his eyes are going to be the big black pupil inside. Now I wanna make this really big. So I'm making a half of a circle that goes all the way from the top, all the way touches the bottom and back around. Let's draw another one on this side. And then inside that circle, I'm gonna make a small baby circle up here. This is gonna be the white shiny highlight in his eye when we're done. And then underneath that, I'm gonna draw one more half of a circle here and one more half of a circle here. Now that's gonna be the colored part of his eye. So what I want you to do is take your pencil very softly and just put a little bit of pencil right here next to the baby dot. So I call that the baby circle. This is the mommy circle. So we're putting some pencil in the mommy circle. And then the daddy circle is gonna be the colored part of the eye. And later you can decide what color you want your bear's eyes to. You can make them blue or green or brown. I'll leave it up to you. Okay, so once we're finished with that, we're gonna make his cheeks a little chubbier. So I'm just gonna go right here and make a little bit fatter cheek. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, a little bit chubbier cheeks. And then I'm going to take my eraser and erase the old part of his face before I made his chubby cheek. Look at how cute our bear is becoming. Now later, we can go in and add some eyelashes if you would like to. You can add um, a bow on top of the hair if you want to make your bear a girl bear. So the next part of our picture, I'm gonna zoom back out now, is all the little details, eyebrows, eyelashes, and the insides of the ears, and then the, pop, the little fingers for the paws, and the shoelaces, and the bottom of the shoe. So we're gonna start at the top, we're gonna work our way down. So let me zoom in again, and we're gonna start with the inside of the ear. So the inside of the ear, we're just gonna make a little half curve here, and a little half curve on this side. And then we're gonna come down a little farther and now we're gonna work on his fingers. Or So when we're drawing his finger, we're gonna make a big fat curve right here on this paw. And then I'm gonna come down a little ways and make a curve going the other direction, kind of like a smile on this side. So this is gonna form one big wide or fat middle finger. And then he's got his other finger on this side and this finger on that side. And make sure there's no heart inside of his paws. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Doesn't that end up looking like a backward C? Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to come up here and make a wide rainbow. I'm going to skip a big space and then a wide smile. I'm going to round it right here. And then I'm going to round this bottom finger and round this top finger. And now his paws are holding his heart. So when I'm finished with that, I'm going to just kind of change the lines right here for his shoulders, make them a little wider. And then we're going to get ready to draw his shoes. So right now, they just look like he has two kind of like ice cream cones or snow cones in front of them. We want to make them look like a shoe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the bottom of the shoe on each side. And now we're going to draw the soles of the shoe, which just means the little rubber part that's at the bottom of your shoe. So I'm just going to draw another line right above this line. I'm going to match it on this side. We're going to be coloring that later. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of the bow from his shoe peeking out of the top. So to make my bow, I'm going to make one loop on this side. And then I'm going to match it with one loop on this side. It looks like a Valentine heart. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing on this side. One loop on this side. One loop on this side. Now that was the first part of the string. Now we have to draw the other edge of the string. So I'm just going to draw a smaller loop on the inside a smaller loop on each bow. You could even draw part of his shoelaces coming off the side like this. Like maybe his shoelaces have long laces and they're coming off. I didn't do that in my first picture, but that's kind of fun, huh? Now it's really look like shoes. When I'm finished with this, it's going to be time to use our marker. Oh, I forgot his eyebrows. Poor little guy. He needs a little bit of an eyebrow above his eyes. And then here would be the place where if you wanted to make a girl bear, you could go in here and put a bow on her hair. You could also give her some eyelashes. Now you don't have to. And even if you do a boy, you can just put short lashes if you'd like to. Now if you want to make a bow on her hair, it's just very similar to how we did the bow on the shoes. Watch this. I'm going to start right here on her head and I'm going to make a round circle first. This is going to be the bow, the knot of the bow. Now I'm going to make one loop-de-doop up here. It looks like a rabbit ear. And one loop-de-doop on this side. So now it looks like she has a little tiny bunny on top of her head. And then I'm going to go up, around, and down. Do you see how I did that? I'm going to do it on this side, up, around, and down. And now she has a cute little bow on her head. Let's change out from our pencil. Now we're going to grab our Sharpie marker. So my marker is my fat marker. I call this Mr. Chubby. And this is the marker I always use in my class. So the first thing we're going to do with Mr. Chubby is we're going to start to trace the top of our bear's head. So you can make your bear smooth like I did my bear here, or you could give your bear just a little bit of fuzz on the edges. So if you want to give your bear a little bit of fuzz, you're just going to make kind of a short, tiny little ziggity zag mark like this across the top of the head. I'm going to let you decide which style you want to do because this is your picture. I'm going to trace around the ears, and you can make those fuzzy or smooth. I'm going to let you decide. I'm going to trace the inside part of my ear, and I'm going to put a little bit of hair right here at the bottom of the inside of the ear. Then I'm going to trace the cheeks. Now, when I come down to the cheeks, I'm going to make my cheeks kind of fuzzy. So I'm going to take my marker and go tick, 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 all the way around the side. but you could also make your cheeks smooth. I'm gonna let you decide which style you want to do because you are the artist today. And then I'm going to trace the shoulders and I'm gonna trace the paws. So the paws is just kind of like one big round curve, but I stop when I get to that middle and then I'm gonna trace the finger, which on this side, it looks like a big capital C. 
and I'm going to trace the paw on this side. So I start right here at the top and I go around in a big circle and back. And then this side is a backwards C. And I'm going to trace the side of my bear's body. And then I'm going to trace the shoes. I'm going to start with the rainbow. I did that on both shoes. And then I'm going to trace the bottoms. And then the rubber sole. We'll color that later with our crayon. And then I'm going to trace the bow. Remember how we did this? It was one loop, two loops. And then if you made the little strings, don't forget to trace those. And then our final part to trace is the details of the face, the bow, and then the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and trace my bow. You might not have done a bow, so maybe you can trace the Valentine heart. I'm going to save my face for the very last part. I'm going to trace my Valentine heart. Be thinking what you're going to want to write inside your Valentine heart. By the way, you don't have to write anything. You could just leave it plain inside and you could just color it some pretty, pick, some pretty colors. But if you want to write something, I will give you some suggestions in a minute. All right, my heart is traced. Now I'm going to get ready to trace the face of my bear. So I'm going to zoom in. So the first part I'm going to trace is the top of the muzzle. And I'm going to trace the cheeks. And I'm going to trace the nose. And I'm not going to color the nose in. I know you're thinking we should color it. Well, we're right here. Now you can make the mouth smooth or you can make it a little bit fuzzy. Do you see how I made very tiny zigzags? Super small. So the way I do that is I just kind of go up and down really short, up, 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 like this. And then I make it smooth and I make a cute little curve on the cheek. Next, I'm going to trace the eyes. I'm going to hold my marker straight up and down and not press down very hard. That first part was my rainbow. Remember how we did that first? Then I'm going to trace a half circle. We called this earlier the mama circle. The mama circle is going to hold the little tiny baby circle. The baby circle, we're going to keep white. The mama circle, we're going to color in. Now you had a choice if you wanted to do another circle underneath the mama circle. I call that one the daddy circle. And that one will be the one that if you would like to, you can color with your crayons or colored pencils or markers a color. So if you want your bear to have green eyes or blue eyes or whatever you would like. Also, if you would like to, you can add eyelashes, but you don't have to. And these add a little bit of short lines on the eyebrows. So when I'm all finished, then I'm gonna do one final thing, and that is to draw the ground underneath my bear. So I'm just gonna go right here and draw a line on the side of the shoe that goes straight off the paper, and it goes the same direction as the bottom of my paper. It's going horizontal. Then I'm gonna pretend I'm drawing through his shoes, and I'm gonna come out the other side, And then we're going to get ready to design our background also. So here are some ideas. You could take your Sharpie marker and you could draw a heart. The way I draw a heart is I make a little hook like this that comes down. And I make sure I always go up, around, and then touch. So you can make some hearts by making a hook. And then another hook going the other direction. There's lots of ways to make hearts. This is just an easy way. Um, you could make some really big hearts. You could also make some little swirls, kind of like confetti. 
We can do these in some fun colors over the top later too. And I have another idea. What about right in here? Maybe we could write something. I wrote the word love, L-O-V-E. And that's an easy word to write. There's only four letters. You could also write the word hug, H-U-G, and that only has three letters. So I'm gonna close up Mr. Sharpie. I'm gonna come back to him. I'm gonna start with a pencil first to practice what I wanna write. So I wrote love the last time. This time, I think I'm gonna write the word hug. So I'm gonna make an H first. There's only three letters. So my middle letter is gonna be my second letter, which is U. And my third letter is gonna be a big G. To make my G, I'm gonna start out with a big old capital C, but I'm gonna swoop my little bottom up and then bring it in. Hug. Now I can go back in with my Sharpie marker and I can trace over my lines. Now when I do my letters, after I trace them over one time, I kind of like my letters a little bit chubbier. So what I do is I take my Sharpie marker and I go one more time, sometimes two more times over the letters to make them a little chubbier. So I'm just going a little bit next to my first line. Do you see how my lines are a little darker now? I'm gonna do that on each one of my letters. And like I said, sometimes I go three times around if I want them even chubbier. And then when I'm all finished writing, then we're gonna take our magic rub eraser if you have that today, and you're gonna erase all of your pencil lines. All right, let's get ready to erase. Now I'm gonna get my magic rub because that's a lot easier than using this little tiny pencil eraser for my whole picture. I'm gonna open up my hand. Now, if you're right-handed, your eraser is in this hand and you're gonna erase using this hand as your duck. And I'm just gonna put my hand down and erase right here, in the duck's mouth, until all of my pencil lines are gone. Then I'm just gonna use my hand to brush them off the bottom of the paper. Okay, let's get ready to color our bear. Now I'm gonna be using crayons, but you could also use markers. I'm gonna be starting with crayons and then maybe using some markers for my hearts in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of turn my paper just slightly on its side, which I find is a little easier for me for coloring this direction. So if you're holding the crayon in this hand, you might wanna turn your paper like this so you can color from side to side to color faster. What we wanna practice doing as artists is always coloring in the same direction. So grab your crayon or your marker, and we're gonna start coloring back and forth, side to side. Now I'm not gonna color my bow. And I'm gonna be kind of careful when I get up to the eyes, but you see how I'm just coloring back and forth in one direction, not really hard, just a medium coat. And then when I get right close to the edge, I can just take the tip of the crayon and kind of change direction and color around the corners and the edges. So I'm gonna go like this side to side, all the way down, all the way down the cheek. Then I can go in here and do the same thing. I'm still going side to side, right around the nose, side to side. And then I'm gonna do this side of the face. side of the face with the edge of my crayon, the tip of my crayon. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for my bare shoulders and hands, but not the shoes. I'm not gonna make the shoes brown. Be thinking about what color you're gonna make your heart that your bear is holding, and also what color you're gonna make those shoes. You could do pink and red polka dots. Those would be super fun Valentine shoes. Or maybe you could do a pattern on your shoes red, white, pink, purple, red, white, pink, purple. That would be super fun too. Or you can make rainbow shoes. They don't have to be Valentine's colors. I need to get myself some rainbow shoes. I think art teachers need rainbow shoes. I don't have any rainbow shoes yet. You notice I said yet. Might be on the lookout for those now. 
Okay, my bear has some nice chocolate brown on my bear. Now, another fun thing you can do is you can use another color on top of your brown. So you could use orange on top of your brown or you could use peach or this color is called apricot. It's kind of like a really light skin tone color and you can mix two colors together. So if I take this color and I rub it right on top of my first color of brown, it makes such a beautiful color. Almost kind of looks like butterscotch caramel color. Oh my goodness, you can tell I love this color. There's hardly any left on the tip. I'm gonna to have to peel my paper back pretty soon. Bear has white legs like marshmallows. I need to get my brown crayon, or I could decide to make these pants too, by the way. You could make some fun pants on your bear, but I think I'm gonna keep my bear just having fun shoes today. So I'm gonna use my brown on the legs. And by the way, you're gonna to have to go in and color a little bit of brown in between that bow. The little bow has a loop. There's a little hole in the loop. You see that spot right there? So that little hole where that bow loops around, you would be able to see your leg through it. So I've gotta color that also. And then of course, I've got to mix in my apricot color that I used earlier. So the legs are the same color as my bear's hands and face. And when you're blending a second color over it, you can kind of go almost any direction. There, I think that looks a little better now. Okay, time to figure out what color you're gonna color your nose on your bear. So you could do a dark brown or you could do a black. I did a black nose. You could do a pink nose. That would be really cute too. You can leave a little section white at the top of the nose when you're coloring it. So you could outline the nose with your crayon and then color it in. And then I just leave a little spot kind of peeking out of the top, like a little shiny light on the nose. And then I kind of darken it on the bottom. And then for the shoes and the heart and the bow and the eyes, I forgot about the eyes. What color should I make my bear's eyes? My last bear had blue eyes. So I think I will give my bear some soft green eyes this time. I have a really light green too. Maybe I'll put a little of that over it. I like to mix my colors together. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the shoes. So I gave my bear red shoes the last time. So this time I think I'm gonna do red and maybe I'll make the laces pink. That would be fun. I'm gonna use a marker this time because I like the bright colors on the marker, but if you just have crayons, then color it with crayons. It will look fabulous with crayons also. So I kind of trace around the edge like this. And I just kind of pull my marker all the way across. Go over it two times, makes the color a little darker. Don't forget to always close your marker and make a, make a little click sound. All right, let's make the laces pink. Where else could I add pink on my picture to make that color somewhere else on my picture? Let's see. I could make my heart pink. I could make my bow pink. Maybe I'll make my bow pink. What color are you gonna make your heart? Another fun color for Valentine's Day is purple. I've seen a lot of people using purple at Valentine's Day. That's a pretty color also. I love purple. So then I'm gonna go in now and decide my color for my heart. I'm gonna do pink this time because I did red last time. And I might go in after I'm done coloring it. Maybe I'll go in and make some red polka dots on top of the pink. So I outline it first. Even that looks cool, doesn't it? Look at that. That's pretty. Just like that with a white heart with pink on the outside. 
I could color the inside with a pink crayon and it would look really beautiful too. Now, once you know how to do this, think about some friends that you could make these Valentines for. You don't have to write any words in them. You could just draw the bear. You could just draw just this half of the bear, maybe just the paws and the shoulders, and you wouldn't draw the body and the shoes. And you could make some cards with a bear on it. You could draw girl bears for your girl friends that are girls, and you could draw boy bears for friends of yours that you want to give it to that are boys. You can make one of these cards for your mom or your dad or maybe your grandma or your cousins. Maybe your neighbor, maybe your neighbor would like a present like that. All right, when you're all finished, then it's time to decorate the edges, all the details. Oh, once again, I'm gonna use my markers for my parts. I'm gonna make some of them red some of them pink. And what about those swirls? What kind of color could I put over those? I think I'm going to use crayon and experiment with some crayon. So some different colors in my crayon box here. This is kind of a raspberry color. And my final part is right underneath. You're going to add a little bit of color either to the soles of the shoes. You can make the shoes, the bottom of the shoes, a color. So let's see what color can I make the bottom of the shoes. This time I'm going to make them blue. Last time I made them black. And then you can make a shadow underneath by just taking your crayon and coloring a little shadow underneath. So I just take my black crayon and very softly I color side to side. And I'm not gonna do it very heavy, just a little bit of shadow right underneath the feet, right up to the line. So I hope you had fun today making our Valentine Heart Fair. Did you have fun? I had fun. Now, if you would like to send me a picture of your drawing that you did, have your parents take a picture of it and send it to my email, which is rtorres at lcusd.net. So that will come to my email box. And then I promise if you send me a picture of your artwork, I will write back to you. So I hope you had a fun lesson today and I will see you for our next art lesson. Have a great day.